Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Joe Blakely, and I'm back for Barking Dog Brew House. I'm going to get back to doing beer reviews. I'm going to be more consistent with the beer reviews. And also, I'm probably going to be adding um, educational videos more about different styles of beer because whenever I go out and I order something that's funky sounding, people look at me and say, what the heck is that? Um, I'm going to educate you on st styles of beer um, that you can find in your craft beer stores. Um, and I, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. But today, I have from Magic Cat Brewing Company, Dream Machine IPL. It's an India Pale Lager from uh, Magic Cat. And the first time I had this was about a few weeks ago at a festival. And it caught my eye immediately because I'm an IPA fanatic. I love it. Um, and this is an India Pale Lager. So what Magic Cat has on their crazy looking website is um, Dream Machine, turn on, hop in, take off. Currents flow through lips, swim through limbs, lines of spine, and loop back around again, coming to rest in the comfort of your mind. Dream Machine whirs, something stirs, and the ether swirls with visions and dreams, reminding us that nothing in our minds must be what it seems. They get kind of crazy. They're kind of off the wall, Vermont people. Um, I love them for it. And they always have something cool under the bottle cap, which, you know, is good to say out loud after you pop it open and get a few laughs or ponder whatever it says or try and figure out what it says. Sometimes it's a riddle. Um, so let's give this a try. And right there, what my cap says is, where's Waldo? You know, that's funny. We'll let that settle there for a second. Also, um, on the Magic Cat website, it talks about this being an India Pale Lager or IPL. Um, they say it's a melding of varied visions of an IPA and an amber lager. Um, it's copper in flavor, or copper in color, delights the eyes, and has a citrusy hop aroma and that flows through the nose. So, smelling it, um, it's citrusy, for sure, definitely. And it's not like, at first taste, it's not like an IPA that you have that immediately it has that distinct IPA taste. The hops are definitely there. Um, they have that citrus kind of bite to it and the bitterness that you would expect from an IPA, but it has like a smooth finish at the back end, which is really nice if you're not like super stoked on IPAs. If you think, ah, I don't like that somewhat skunkiness taste of an IPA, um, this, this is a good little segue into IPAs. Yeah, I mean, it's just how I remembered it really clean, really delicious. Um, I would suggest picking it up. I mean, it's a little heavier on the alcohol side for something that you would think of this. Um, lagers, you don't really see much higher than 4.2 to like five. This is 5.7. Um, so it's, it's, it's there with, with the alcohol. Um, but it's definitely a sessionable beer. Very good, very delicious. I recommend it. See you next time.